It melts in my mouth. Melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. To melt in your mouth. 入口即化。Hey guys, welcome to another Chinese food adventure. I've got Mum here with me today, and we are going to be eating hot pot today. But don't worry, it's a little bit different from the other hot pot we've had before because hot pot is really famous in China, but the style of hot pot actually varies from region to region. So you've got obviously the spicy, mouth-numbing version from Chongqing and Sichuan. In Beijing, it's really famous for the lamb hot pot. I learned today that there is a chrysanthemum. Hot pot that you can get in Suzhou and Hangzhou, which I really, really, really want to try one day. And you've also got from Hainan Province, right down the south of China,、um, you've got a coconut chicken hot pot, which is absolutely delicious. Oh, it's so coconutty! You would love that. So, so good. But today we are going to be trying a style of hot pot from the south of China, from Guangdong Province. And although it may not be as internationally famous as some of its, you know, its hot pot friends, I guess you could say. In China, it is super, super famous, and on my Chinese social media accounts, I have so many comments of people saying, "You have to go here and try it. You have to try it." So today is that day, Mum. We are going to be trying it. The people ask. The people ask. We, we deliver. deliver. We are trying Chao Shan beef hot pot today,、ah, and I'm so excited. Today's food adventure brings us to Sam's Chao Shan hot pot, which is here in Sydney. I am no expert in Chao Shan beef hot pot. This is actually my first ever time trying it. Wow, me so, mine too. <laughs> so I've actually invited my friend, who knows a lot more than I do, because Abby, can you tell everyone where you're from? Shantou. And what's special about Shantou? The beef hot pot. So Chao Shan beef hot pot comes from the Chao Shan region in Guangdong Province. It's a region that takes its name from the two adjacent cities of Chaozhou and Shantou. Mix the two together, you've got Chao Shan. This is the area where you can find Chao Shan cuisine, which is famous for dishes like oyster omelette, stone pot congee, marinated sashimi, brined meat, and of course Chao Shan beef hot pot. So Abby, can you tell us a little bit more about Chao Shan beef hot pot? Basically, if a beef hot pot is beef only, there's no more other meat. That's the beef, but the different part of the beef slice from the cow. So you can get the beef from the um neck, the um the shin, and all the different parts. Oh, and then they've been freshly cut into a very thin slice, very thin layer. Okay. So you don't need to cook them for a long time. Only about five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> And we got a very special beef ball. You have to try to get so juicy. From what I can see around here, the broth, like the soup base, it looks quite mild. Like it doesn't look spicy. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. We only use the beef ball and been pouring them for a long time to get that texture. So it's just a beef extravaganza, or as Dad、yeah. would say, a beef gasm. I'm having a beef gasm, and it's great. <laughs> also got another friend here, Mayna, who is joining us. Have you had this before? Um, I had it once or twice. I've had it a few times. It was really good. So、okay. I'm really excited to try out this place. I was looking at the menu a little earlier, and it all looks like beef to me. Would you be able to taste the difference between some of these meats? Well, sure. <laughs> A bit dramatic. So, are these all different cuts of meat? Yeah, different cuts of meat. So you can see the oyster blend and the shin. This is one of my favorite. And of course, we got the beef ball. Everyone loves it. Maybe should we got to get a, like a special plate? A special plate. It、oh, got、so、everything here.、Everything. Yeah. Oh, and look at the price, Baba. <laughs> the Chinese typical Chinese number. So we're gonna get beef. I gather that it looks all the same to me. But Abby here has assured me that she would be able to tell the difference. So I have an idea. Since you said you would be able to tell the difference between the different kinds of beef cuts, <laughs> let's put this to the test. I'm going to test you, and you're going to tell me what what kind of beef it is. Oh, that's so challenging. I'm actually super curious to try the hot pot base itself. Are you supposed to have the soup? Yes, this is the first like the soup without the beef. At the moment, it's very pale, very、um, fresh. And after, by the end of our beef hot pot, we can try it again and be so rich of the beefness. It looks more like a soup than it does like the oiliness that you would see with like a Chongqing hot pot or something like that. This looks like this looks like a more of a soup. And it's not red. It's not red. I, I feel a lot more inclined to drink this than the Chongqing hot pot soup base. Yeah. At the moment, this is like the taste that I love the most. It's very light and just a very gentle, very sweet.、It、smells very clean. <laughs> clean. 
Oh, that's very nice. It is sweet and it's very, it's got the taste there. It's not overwhelming. It's really, really nice. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like chicken noodle soup, the stock from the chicken noodle soup kind of thing, except beef. I was very interested to hear that it's very normal to eat this, to drink the soup before the meat goes in and then after as well. And you can experience the change in flavor of the soup. So I'm very excited to try that. So I guess all we have to do is wait for our meat, meat to arrive. What happens if we finish all the soup before the meat arrives? We're not definitely gonna add more soup for you. Oh, that's such value. All you can eat, wow, all beef stock. Drink. One step that I often see with other style of hot pot is you go up and you make your own style of sauce. Do you do that with this style of hot pot too? Do you have a sauce? Do you make your own? Like, what's the situation? In our area, we only use the sate sauce most often. And sate sauce? Sate sauce. Is it the When you say sate sauce, I think of peanut sauce. Like, is that what it is? I think I was surprised to hear sate sauce because it's a sauce I typically associate with Indonesian, Malaysian, Filipino, even Thai cooking. So I'm really interested to know more about the history of sate sauce in the Chaoshan area. So please don't hesitate to comment below if you can help me shed some light. I'm extremely, extremely curious to try this satay sauce. I don't think I've tried a, tried a Chinese style satay sauce before. Oh, still, um, still peanutty, definitely peanutty. Nutty, very rich. Yeah, more spi spiced. Oh, that's beautiful. It's definitely peanutty, but it does have a different taste and it's very smooth as opposed to like the chunky, Kind of satay sauce I'm used to. That's really nice. I really appreciate that, that the broth isn't so overwhelming because I feel like the beef in that hot pot and then with a little bit of that sauce is just gonna be magic. It's gonna be so good. To help us introduce the different cuts of beef on our table, we've got Sam here, who's actually the owner of this restaurant. Uh, like premium one with this is the bag. I think it's like the yeah. most trim one and it's also very soft. It's just melting your mouth as the boss is in stew. Oh but before we can see for ourselves if what the boss said was true, our oyster omelette arrived and we were told that it doesn't taste very good cold, so we got stuck into it right away, but no complaints here. It smells so good. Oh yum. Good huh? I love omelettes and I love oysters. We have had this once before, remember? Yes. But it looks very different. We went to a Taiwanese restaurant and we had it at a Taiwanese restaurant. Look at the ice cream. Oh, I'm liking it. And then you can dip it with a piece of sauce. I'm liking it a lot. In this one piece here, I think there are about four or five oysters. It's a lot of oysters. <laughs> they're, very, they're very generous with the oysters here. Mm, really delicious. Yeah, it's a lot less too. sticky mm. and chewy than the Taiwanese version we had. I, I seem to remember it was very chewy, the Taiwanese version. Yeah. This is more omelette -y. It tastes very fresh. I have to go in for a second nice. piece because that is so good. Okay, now back to the star of the show. So now with the first thing we need to do is to uh, put the beef ball first because it, it needs to take at least like 10 minutes to cook it. But for the rest of beef, it's only like 10 seconds maximum. And now, what should I try for the first time? Okay, you have to close your eyes, Abby. So I've gotten Abby to close her eyes because I want to test her ability to discern which cut of meat she's eating. So I think first, I'm going to put in some of this one. So what do you think? Look at that, there's so many steam here, so many patterns. I see, go very close with this one. Oh, yes! Oh, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. The shape of the slice. <laughs> now I'll do well for you as well. Okay, okay. I'm ready to guess the cut of meat. Are you in the zone? I was born for this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, smells like beef. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna close my open my eyes. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say from the shape of the beef. 
It honestly all looks the same. I have no idea. It smells really good. I'm gonna try it with some saute sauce and then I'll have a guess at what it is. Mm. Oh my God. It melts in my mouth. It's so good. What kind of meat is that? Well, this is the uh, Diao Long Bang. So this is basically from the back of the beef, and this is also this is from the same part of beef, but this is a premium Wagyu one, Wagyu class one, and this is the one that we usually have yeah. in Chaosan beef cooking. Mm. So this is the one that I highly recommend for you to try, the Diao Long Bang. Yeah, it's incredibly, incredibly tender. It really does melt in my mouth. So good. Um, Mum, you've got to try this. And this so I think it's really convenient they have this um, tool that you have to, don't have to look for the beef. Oh my, that really does. Melts in your mouth. Yeah. That's so tender. And that satay sauce is crazy good. Oh, yum. I bet Dad's regretting that decision to walk across Western Australia right now. Oh. I think I know where he would probably rather be. <laughs> you know, the stuff he's having right now is all freeze-dried mac and cheese or something. I don't know. I know where I'd rather be. Hello. Yeah, Dad, <laughs> why did you leave me? Okay, well, thanks for joining me for my dinner tonight. I don't know what uh, Joe and Amy are eating at the moment, but I'm sure it's it's delicious and it's probably at a restaurant and they prob probably enjoying it very much. Anyway, I'm out in the bush, so let me show you where I am. I'm at a place called Possum Springs, right in the heart of the uh, Western Australian bush. And I'm staying at this little hut and with my dinner getting prepared here. So I've got a stove, boiling peas, and then you put it into this little pack and the, the wings come out and act as a, a bowl. Out. Cottage pie in the bush for one. So it's actually pretty good, the, the, the cottage pie. It's tasty. The mashed potato is pretty good. The extra peas are a bonus. Sorry, Dad, but I think I know what I'd rather be eating. If you like beef, honestly, I don't know if you can get better than this. But as I soon found out, actually, you can. This is the exact same cut of meat that we just had, the tenderloin, except this one comes from a Wagyu cow. Prepare to be even more impressed. Let's do this together. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. This makes the other one feel like the toughest thing on earth. That is so good. Like, did I eat meat or did I just drink a glass of water? I'm not sure. <laughs> it just fell apart in my mouth. I already did the top that last No, time. this is super good. I'm very glad we had the other one first. Because otherwise that would have felt so yeah. tough compared to this. And that's crazy because I literally thought that beef couldn't get more tender than what I just had. But this is, that is crazy. nuts. You can see here for yourselves how this just falls apart at the slightest touch. It's absolutely divine. Yeah, mouse in your mouth. <laughs> You're in heaven. <laughs> that's what taste from the home. Oh. As much as I love the, the spicy hot pots, it does overwhelm mm -hmm. the flavour of the beef. And here, this is really the hero. This yeah. really is. It's absolutely delicious. Now it's time to try the handmade char shan beef balls that I've heard so much about. Amazing. Smells so good. And they seem very airy. Oh, wow. That texture is so cool. It's very bouncy. And the flavours in there are just delicious. All in all, beautiful flavour, super interesting texture, really leaves me wanting more. I give these Cha Shan beef balls two hearty thumbs up. Oh, okay. Uh, 
然后就拿起来就可以，这样就每一个位置都熟。So what are we trying now? We've got shin, I believe, beautifully cooked by the owner. Let's see how it goes. So this is your favourite? Yeah. It's got a different texture. The one we just had, that wagyu, was crazy tender. Yeah. This maybe it's it's got a little bit more beef flavour in it. I know that sounds silly, but it just seems to have a little. It's a bit more meaty. This is why I like it. Now it's time to experience another Cha Shan specialty. This time it's the marinated prawn sashimi. That's the raw seafood sashimi, the prawn sashimi. Like, this is one of my favorite ever. Well, I don't know about you, Mum, but this is my first time ever trying a raw prawn. Mm. It's been marinated in something really nice and garlicky. It's so good. It tastes the same as a cooked prawn. Wow. It's very fresh. There's no fishiness to it. Oh, yum. Yeah. Oh, really good. <laughs> We're just going to take a super quick break so I can talk to you guys about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Very appropriate since we're out here learning the skill behind Chaoshan Beef Hot Pot. So Skillshare is an online learning community. It's got thousands of classes over a wide range of topics. If there's a skill you've been wanting to learn, odds are it's on Skillshare. But it's not just skills that you can find on Skillshare. There's a lot of great life advice on there as well. And there's actually a whole section on Skillshare dedicated to freelancing and entrepreneurship, which I've really appreciated over this crazy past year where I've tried to refine and hone in on what I love, what I want to do, and what I can see myself doing in the future. There are classes on Skillshare to help you with everything from starting a side hustle, creating your dream career, even helping you unlocking your creative identity. And if you're anything like me, this last year has been a time to reflect and understand more about myself. So Skillshare is definitely there to help us through this process. So guys, for a limited time only, the first thousand people to click on the link in my description are gonna be getting a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And even after your trial is over, membership is less than 10 American dollars per month. So it's a really great deal. It's a good opportunity to get on there and do some stuff, learn about things and yourself. And yeah, I've enjoyed it. I think you will too. Look at how big the car is. Compared to the first one that we have. Yeah. So now that we've finished cooking pretty much all of our beef, I'm very interested to try the stock of that hot pot soup base to see how it's changed. Now it's very rich in the beef nut taste now. Yeah, much beefier. So you can definitely taste the beef in that. So by now we can put the, some of the noodles into the beef pot as the noodles can absorb all these beef flavors. And it's just become a very rich beef noodle soup. Oh wow. Oh. Well, I came here expecting to try Chaoshan beef hot pot, but I think I'm leaving with a lot more knowledge about Chaoshan cuisine in general. And so thank you so much, Abby, for being our food guide for today. This was absolutely amazing. I'm definitely gonna take that away. We've got more than a little bit left. We've got so much food on this table. Um, if Dad was here, he would help us oh, finish it off. Would. The poor man is sitting there eating his freeze-dried food. Tasty. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, we will see you next time. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.